Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be doing some baby DIYs, thrift flip situations. Um, so I'm so excited. I love, I did a thrift flip not that long ago. It was kind of a long time ago, but I really liked doing it. And the great thing about these things are they're actually items that you could just buy at the store. You don't have to go thrift them, but you can thrift them easily and it could be a little bit cheaper depending on your thrift store. Let me tell you what we are going to be making. So the first item, baby mobile, and these are super easy. If you just go on Pinterest and look up baby mobiles, you're gonna find so many different ideas and they're all gonna look very similar. I noticed just maybe on my Pinterest, they all were like felt and little balls on them and like the wood circle. Yeah, if you just look it up on Pinterest, you're gonna find so many different ideas. Um, I still didn't know what I was gonna do until I finally started doing it. The main thing that you wanna thrift or you can go buy is just a wood embroidery ring. You get them at any craft store, which is great. So this is one of those thrift things that doesn't just have to be for thrifting. What you need for this one is an embroidery hoop. You're gonna need some different types of string, embroidery string and you're gonna want puff balls or wood balls, whatever you want, and then also some different color felt. Also scissors, different size needles. So for my mobile, what I'm gonna be doing, you can make so many different things, but for this, I'm gonna be making just geometric shapes. So I am just cutting out shapes. I'm doing freehand. You just wanna make double of each of your shapes. I don't know where my pencils are. So we're just going to be cutting the exact same size. So you just want double so that you can put it together and then we, when we stitch it and stuff it, it'll be a little bit of a 3D. I'm gonna cut out some more shapes and then I'll show you. I have cut out a few shapes of things that I like. I mix them around depending on the style, what it looks like when I put it all together. But yeah, so the next step is going to be a little bit tedious and I'm just going to be stitching all around each of these and then trying to stuff some of them. I'm not gonna stuff all of them because some of them are too skinny like this. And you probably, I mean, you don't have to stuff them, but I think I'm going to. So I'm just gonna be using an old pillow to stuff these. I have started stitching. I There's probably like the perfect needle and thread to use for this, but I'm using what I have because not really going outside because of the virus thing, you know. So I am just weaving in and out, just a basic stitching situation. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep stitching until I get to a point where I just have enough space to stuff it. So I'm not gonna use a ton of stuffing, I'm just gonna use enough to kind of give it a little 3D effect. Just stuff it in there and then I'll stitch it up. I have all my pieces puffed and stitched up and now I'm going to assemble and kind of create the strings for the mobile. I'm gonna take my yarn and I so I'm just gonna start on a plane and making my little strings but first I'm using this big I wish I knew the exact name of it but it's just this big needle and I'm just gonna kind of start stringing some things through first little thing that I made so let's see maybe if I put it like right up here like that that might be cute I don't really know exactly what I'm doing I'm kind of just gonna play with it but I'm just gonna tie it off this one yeah, now I'm just gonna kind of start adding different little um, things in and see what I like what I want to do um, I think what I'm gonna do at the bottom is add some tassels so that might be what I decide to do but I'm just gonna kind of mess around and see what I come up with Okay, so these are the little um, strings that I have come up with. I might make one more because it might look odd having four instead. I might make one more later, but for now, this is what we have. So your embroidery hoop, you just kind of want to pop out the middle, but I just wanted the wood hoop. So I'm kind of going to just start placing them probably just evenly and just tying them on to this little deal. I think what I'm gonna do is actually tie on a wood bead to go with it. Um, I just think that that will add a little extra something. So I'm actually gonna quickly make some tassels. So all you're gonna do is just wrap it around your hand. I'm just holding the end and then just wrapping it around my hand a few times, cutting it, 
all wrapped around. You're just gonna take a little piece of string. Literally, you don't need to measure it. Just a little piece of string and you are just going to tie it right around your little loop. What I'm gonna be doing is adding a little wood ball at the top of this, because this is how I'm gonna attach it to the mobile, and it just finishes it off. It looks really cute. So once I tied it, I have these two little bunny ear ends, loop my um, needle around it, and then and tie this little um, ball on there. You're gonna cut all of the little loops so anything that is loopy, you're gonna cut so then it becomes a little tassel. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna attach it. I'm just gonna tie it super, super simple. Might find a better way to attach this, but just for the sake of finishing this off, I'm just going to be tying some string along each side. Okay, so once you tie at each side, I'm just gonna gather all of the little plain strings that are gonna tie this buddy up and all i'm gonna do for now until i figure out the length i need specifically is just do one big knot to this and now it hangs so this is the finished little mobile and for the sake of the video i didn't actually put tassels on all the bottom i will finish it up in a little bit but i just wanted to show y'all since it's getting dark and yeah so once we figure out how we're gonna hang it Maybe I'll show you that too, but I think this is so simple and really easy to do. The next thing we're gonna be making, I am super excited about because I feel like this is something that people buy a lot. And this DIY, my friend Megan Akuna actually did and inspired me to do it because seriously, so cute. So we're gonna be making little um, matching t-shirts and onesies and a t-shirt for me for me and baby you could do whatever you wanted to do whatever you wanted to say whatever font but i think i'm just gonna go with a mama shirt and a little baby onesie basic fun cute yeah megan akuna did this and it inspired me i'm gonna link her channel down below and yeah so pretty much this is a super easy diy i'm just gonna want to get a t-shirt your size and then a little baby onesie. You can thrift these, you can buy them. And you're just gonna need iron on letters. So I actually got bigger ones for my size. And for babies, I got smaller ones. You're pretty much just gonna follow the instructions that come with your letters. So first steps, made sure that my t-shirt and the baby onesie were ironed. And then I'm just gonna cut out, or I already did, I cut out all the letters that I need. So for the baby, it's gonna say baby amazing and you're just gonna make sure your iron is set to the setting that the um, directions tell you so I'm just gonna line up right at the armpits and I'm gonna measure out make sure that I tried to cut the letters as close to the edges as I possibly could so it gave a little bit more of an accurate reading to measure them all out so you're gonna want to find the middle ground for all of this which is um, 10.5 so that is the middle so that so I'm gonna start from that and measure out I just hope that this goes okay <laughs> kind of split the middle with my middle letters which that is probably pretty good here we go let's just pull for a second I can already tell that this is a little uneven the sweet little top that says baby even though I messed up a little bit right there it's okay this really isn't a thrift flip this is just a diy i guess you could thrift the string if you wanted to but this is pretty much just a diy I, this is like a loose thrift flip video but you can thrift all these things so anyway, we're going to be making baby clip pacifiers you're going to need for this diy is suspender clips you're going to need some macrame probably scissors any measuring tools this knot you're going to cut one string that is going to be four feet and then another string that is about six feet so i don't know if this is proper macrame etiquette but to save um string on this specific knot all you need is a four foot and then a six foot piece of string so all you're going to want to do is fold string in half so it makes a little loop like this 
and then two loose ends. So you're just folding it in half and then you want to attach it on to your bender clip. And I'm gonna put the loop in through the front and then pull this string through the back. Keep the step with your other string. My mom taught me how to macrame and this is probably the easiest knot that I've learned, but you can look up videos on YouTube of other really beautiful knots um, that you can make and I'll link those below. But for this specific one, for the sake of making this video shorter than longer, this is an easy, easy macrame one. So all you're gonna do once you have both your strings tied on there is you're gonna find the side that has the longer string, which in my case is this one. So whatever side has the long six foot piece, that is the one we're gonna be using. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the outside of your long string and you are gonna make a piece. So you're just gonna cross it over. I mean, depending on what side you use, it'll either be a P or a four. So in this case, for me, looking at it, it is a P. You're gonna cross your string over all three of the other strings. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take that end, tuck it under all three of those, and pull it through. And tighten it up doesn't look like much yet. All you're gonna do, literally this is the easiest knot, make sure it's really nice and tight so we're not making any string wasted. You're just going to keep repeating that step. Make a P, tuck it under, and pull it through. And just tighten that up. You're just gonna keep repeating this step. You keep doing it, you'll see this little spiral start to happen. And then, so once you have your little string, you're gonna make the pacifier loop, which is going to hold the pacifier, if that doesn't make sense, it will in a second. So all you're gonna to wanna to do is you have three strings left that are not short, and you're gonna take this um, middle piece. I'm gonna move these out of the way so it's easier for y'all to kinda of see what I'm doing because this part isn't that confusing, but it's a little confusing. So you're gonna take that string and you're gonna just loop it up. You wanna make a little loop right here because this is where the pacifier will go. So it's probably, probably one of the length of your macrame depending on how long you made this piece. So this is about right for where I want my pacifier loop. And you're gonna have this little top string and you just wanna tie a knot around itself. So I'm just really gonna tie a knot. I, oh gosh, I don't know how to explain this any better than just make a little knot. It seems really confusing when you're doing it or when you're watching, but it's really not. Just tie a knot around itself. And you're just gonna try to get it as close to this part as you can. And yeah, okay. Now you have your little pacifier loop. You can bring these back in and just combine all of these. You just are gonna wanna cut maybe a 12 inch piece of string. So with your extra loose string that's not attached to your macrame, you're going to put it, you're gonna make a little tip come out um, about an inch. And what you're gonna do with that string, let me see if I can move this so it might be easier. So with this long string that you just added, you're gonna make a little loop at the bottom. It doesn't need to be very big, just a little bit like this. It's gonna go away, so don't even worry. And you're gonna take this, you're just gonna start wrapping it. At, this is your gathering knot, and so you're just gonna start wrapping it. And we're trying to hide this knot at the end and just finish the whole thing off. So try to do it pretty tight so it stays together. And you're just gonna keep wrapping. Gosh, I'm just praying that I'm making this make sense a little bit. I'm just gonna keep wrapping until you have covered your knot, at least to your best ability. Then what we're gonna do is you're going to take the end of your string that you've been wrapping and you're going to stick it through this loop. So you're just gonna grab it, stick it through the loop, and with the top of this, you're just gonna pull that little strand and the little knot is just gonna start going into the inside here. So you're just gonna pull it as tight as you can and then you'll have your little ending and then you can cut this off like so. Just snip it right off. But we're almost done. So once you pull that through, I hope that made sense. Like I said, I'm gonna link a video that might make more sense to you. So this is my shortest string. So what I'm gonna do is take, don't cut your loop, put your loop aside and I'm just gonna cut these pieces right here to line up with this. And you can fray these, so what I might do is just fray them at the end. The last step would be to take your pacifier, loop it through, see, your pacifier loop, 
there it is. And you have your little pacifier clip. The next thing that we're gonna be making is super easy thrift flips. So sometimes you can find wood toys, but they're like the very bright primary colors, which sometimes I like, it depends, but it is nice to have some neutral, you know, it, what's in right now is like the super neutral colored wood toys. So you can find them. I found these little blocks at the um, Goodwill and it was $1.99 for a full package. And you can actually just sand the color off I know, so easy, easiest DIY that we have on here. <laughs> so pretty much it's just the easiest thing to do is you can just sand them right off so you just need some wood, toys, and a sander. Here is the finished product of the blocks. You can still see a little color, but I will just go ahead and hand sand some of them. But yeah, I think I like it so much better than having all the other colors. All these DIYs are pretty darn easy. You can thrift them. You can just go to your craft store if you want and you can find them. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this and I'm so excited. If you try these, tag me on whatever you do, send pictures on Instagram or anything I wanna see. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and got some ideas from it. If you go on Pinterest and look up baby DIYs, there's so many things that you can do and make for baby. It's very fun and I have way more things that I wanna make, but yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.